doing this is Fee Diamond in the Rough and I have an unboxing now I'll put dates down here below I was contacted back uh, mm, how long ago <laughs> I was actually contacted back on the 28th of July by Ali from the JBFKE store asking me to do a review which I think everybody's well not everybody but a lot of people are doing the reviews I will say this video this package has been with Australia Post for the last 10 days I um I had to track it down even though it did go to a parcel locker but I'll put the dates below of when I got emailed well basically I, I was emailed and I responded back straight away and then when it was shipped and when it arrived in Australia and then when I received it so all those details will be here for you to check out but they asked me to check out um, it's really funny you are very beautiful and love your channel I sincerely hope to have the opportunity to cooperate with you our largest cross-border e-commerce company specializing in the production of sales of diamond paintings in China so hope you would choose a favorite diamond painting as soon as possible and send me the product link page so I responded back with something here's my after you've selected product I will mail it to you as soon as possible make an unboxing video display make a video presentation a completed diamond painting and I hope you can share your, the true feelings of using the product with your lovely plans here are the main merits of my product you need to notice in this video great for craft lovers improve and he's saying dead room decoration style but I presume that's bedroom decoration style I don't know on that one so in the end picked out two so I will take this out of the packaging I ordered two things so what I ordered was something I haven't seen before when I put when I actually put the order in I have now seen this and I also as per my usual style I ordered a five panel so this is going to look pretty interesting I will say that I have not been able to um, I've looked at different diamond paintings in this chat on this page and they don't although you can get the image they don't actually give you an ability to change the size so that's one thing just looking at their um, web page I'm not able to go okay I want this picture and I want to be able to choose a size because for me I like my big diamond paintings and the only way I was actually able to go in and have a look at what a size something was was to actually go in and select the image and there is nowhere can I pick the size so you have there's only the one size available for whatever you ordered so I did get a 3d creative diamond painting as a nice little quick one but this one here is the five piece um, one so what prices were these so this one so this is in euro so I'm gonna have to go to my uh, trusty conversion because this is where it really does show um, no that's not the one I want <laughs> So currency conversion, if I actually got there, um, 8.99 euro actually calculates the 14 Aussie dollars or 15 Aussie dollars or 11 US. Uh, and if I clear that and 13.74, whoops, 13.74 euros. 22 Aussie or 16 US um, so yes um, that that's the pricing if you're looking to compare when I see mine I do on my website it is in Aussie dollar um, but the, when I'm ordered it it actually shows through as euro so I don't know if I'd get charged euro or Aussie dollar if I was charged euro I will say I would highly likely as before probably get hit with a finance um, foreign exchange fee anyway that's the financial side of it and the fact that the website you have to click onto the image and that is the only one that you get you don't get a choice of size 
Um, so how how you pick out a big one feet? Because for me, I I like the big ones. I was looking and going, well, I can't tell what size. Even on their web page, you can't tell what size. Um, so you know that that makes it a little bit hard, a little bit hard to be able to go up in size. It's so one of the things I like to be able to do is to see an image and go, okay, I don't want it as a 30 by 40. I want it as a 50 by 60 or <laughs> 80 by 90, <laughs> depending on the case. But so anyway, stop waffling. 3D creative diamond painting. So this, I'd just say about $12, $13. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so if we actually, just going to have a look. So that's just, I think that's just the order code. So your drilling steps are there. So it'll be interesting to see. So that saying that it's bag nine, there's a DMC code, fingers crossed. So before we even look, and now this is just for a diamond painting. It's not for this. So let's get into it. Okay. I was actually looking forward to this one. This one I saw it went, oh, that's cute. So we pull it out. Right. <laughs> okay, box is now empty. Radio diamond painting pen, stock standard boat, little tiny wax tray, baggies, and there is the drill. So, okay, Ooh. actually, okay, they are in number order, so I will turn them over so you can actually see the colours. So they have the crystal, there is A, B's in there. That's a cute little pink. Oh, I like that blue. That blue, not quite my nails, but pretty close. But yeah, I think there's only one A, B jewel in there, which is the yellow. So I don't know why they've done that when everything else is crystal. So, okay. 13 now crinkle alert let's pretend it's just to stay okay so what we have here let's take that out that's better so these are all numbered okay they have yeah so it's just the symbols 11 12 13 the four, was it the four? So the four is the one that just has the A, B drill. So there, everything else is the crystal. But that's going to be cute. Um, so yeah, I'll have to put this together. Um, it looks like it goes through. There we go. I've seen Mindy do one. So it just will click in to those slots. Um, cute little unicorns on there and the what they call it whoops come on focus on focus on what's in front of you not what's behind it. rose petal gift shop okay so there is one um, obviously no legend there um, plastic and I'd say there is a plastic coating on this so I'd see if we can see so the glue will be on top of this plastic I don't know whether you can see that plastic there come on you can see I've just lifted the plastic a bit so the sticky will be under there with the the plastic things like this I don't like lifting that plastic up until I'm actually working on them uh, unlike a diamond painting it's easy to cover over these are not as easy so we shall pop that back in the box this one will be a, a this one will be a nice quickie I will um, do that probably in one sitting <laughs> and film it as a time lapse for you interrupting your regular screening <laughs> of this unboxing so I've just unboxed um, this one and I have done this by time-lapse so that will continue after this little chat 
this is quite cute and easy to do, but I um, I suppose in a space of about two out two three hours, had a couple of interruptions, but this is what it looks like. I actually like it. It's a little cutesy thing. And uh, yeah, I'll say have a check out the uh, time lapse, which will continue on, and then the rest of the unboxing, the actual diamond painting. Um, We'll continue after that and I will say thank you and uh, yeah, cool little project just to occupy a few hours. I had plenty of drills left over. If you work on one of these in one straight go, I would say suggest um, laying them all out in trays because it was just so easy. But yeah, no issue with running out. Had plenty. And uh, yeah, on to your screening. Okay, so this one. Just hang on. So this is supposed to be a five panel. I will try and pop a picture in for you to see it. This one I, because you can't, put, because there's only the one size. So if I get my measurements out, it is saying approximately, there is a canvas size advertised and there is a point drill size. So, if we so this is all in one piece okay which in a way i do like because as a one piece i will find i do believe that all of these symbols will be the same letter looking at the back looks it's not too bad for for this but Tell you what, yeah, it, okay. This is what I would call uh, this. This can be done very quickly on the up in the camera. It actually looks like it's got, not going to be too bad. A fair amount of reflection in there. You can see the house there. Um, so, this is interesting. So some people go, how do you tackle a diamond painting that is actually a five panel that's like this? I've actually never received one like this. But for the size of it, I will probably tackle that way, then that one, then that one, and then that one, and that one. Because of the size of it. Okay, so the question is, diamond painting size, tape measure. I have lost my, my favourite tape measure, so I have to go with this one. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just going to try and line it up with the bottom. Whoops. Oh, this is not doing well. This is not doing well. So that's so that's ninety. It's not. It is ninety-five. So the diamond painting is ninety-five by forty-five. So that's the canvas. Now this is where we look at for this one. It's saying 
95 by 45 for the canvas. The drill point is approximately 90 by 40. So the highest point is this one. Let's make sure you can see what I'm talking about. This one here. And they're saying the highest one should be a 40. Um, that's 39. So we're about a centimetre off there, right? But the other side of it is, is this is supposed to be 90. Now for me, if I went this should be 90, I should be able to add that one, that one, that one, that one and that one together as if they were sitting directly side by side to be a 90. But I have, okay, 14. 14, at least they're side by side measurements, so 14. So these are all the same size. So I'm, without me going, um, hang on, calculator, 5 by 14, 70 centimetres. So this, if I left this up as it is, if I left it all together, It'd be not uh, be it would be approximately 90 but if you cut this it will not be a 90 it will be 70 so it's a 40 by for 45 by 70 in reality not a it's a 40 by 70 in reality not a 40 by 90 okay so that's where we go with that one. It is all one sheet of plastic over the whole piece. We bring it up. Frayed edges, okay. Let's see if the camera's gonna focus. Okay, so it does have DMC code. What I am gonna have to do is obviously take a picture. Or actually, I should be able to scan that one. Um, bring this up I'm going to go look through the DMC the symbols I need to bring that back okay my camera is just not wanting to focus on that one let's see if we can get it focus on this one this will be easier there we go so symbols are pretty dark I'm going to struggle with that one already because that's a dark letter on a dark colour. Dark letter on a dark colour, another one hard to read. Okay, so I reckon I'll have trouble with those two at least. Even in the camera, I can't see it. So... Okay, now this is going to be struggle town. That this one is going to be when I work on that, it's going to be questionable as to what needs to go where. I'm just going to see if I can find. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I can spot where it's going to go. Symbols are pretty clear up there. Where is it? Okay, here we go. So, focus. My guessing is these U's might be, I think the U is one of them. Okay, which I might be able to work with. Um, this, okay, this one I am going to be needing, definitely going to be needing a magnifying glass to work with. These are pretty hard to see. Um, no, so, yes, it's a, it's a round, round, this is me asking the question, it's a round, okay, there is no choice as to whether you get it as a round or a square drill, either, so it's a round, so, <laughs> I'm going to be ticking off a few things on this one, let's go and have a look at the colours, not all. Okay. 
Yes. I'm sorry. Uh oh. I keep saying uh oh. Um. Okay. So it's all going to be a very dark, dark picture. It doesn't look that dark in uh, on the website. Truth will out, isn't it? The way it goes. Okay. So there is no. No DMC codes on the packaging. The DMC codes are only on the canvas itself. So that's 310. Grey. It's going to be pretty dark in some places. 7. So it's the 7 and the 8 are the two symbols that I looked at and went, oh, I'm going to struggle to read those. That one's the U. I don't know what that other one is. Hang on. No, it's the No, it's the five and the six. There we go. I'm already struggling to read the symbols. Okay, oranges, greens. Some of the light bits, which will be the sky up here. Okay. Eighteen. Uh, 19 what's 21 3371 yep okay little straggler in there um, so yeah just your yeah, PJ packaging uh, in a strip I will say the strip is not ordered by quantity it is actually ordered by um, you know it is by number and it is by DMC code in order so that's at least um, you've, I've still got some order there so that's okay so uh, what else can I say the canvas does have I mean I've already picked up it's got fraying on the sides um, because this is one piece to actually get the proper result I think I'm going to have to just Yeah, I'm likely going to have to cut these and actually mount them together to get a proper effect. That gap between is not good. So it's going to be a case of either I mount each piece individually or um, and do individual boards for each for framing or else I have to do one that's going to be 70 wide and put them all together and work on that. Okay, um, opinion so far opinion so far isn't actually that highly rated um, at this stage um, yeah <clears throat> so I go back to the initial side of things when you're ordering from these guys you can't select your size or the website's not showing you what the size is before you click on it so that's a frustrating thing if you don't get a choice of the size the website should show on the front saying this is this size because for me to select a picture I was looking and going okay click on that okay I don't want that size click on the next one I don't want that size click on the next one I don't want that size um, but I knew that if I went for a five a multi-panel I would get a bit more of a selection um, and I can't even remember how um, I can't even find work out how how I managed to find it hang on here we go featured yeah there was nothing this the website I am frustrated with okay and now for me I like a frust a, a dime a, when I'm purchasing something if I struggled with um if I struggle with a website, I tend to click on it about three or four times and I go, nah, I can't be bothered. I will say that I cannot see. Oh, hang on, no, they've actually started putting sizes on those ones. The ones that I was just looking at didn't have sizes on the front screen, so I don't know why. Some shows are sizing and some doesn't. Okay. 
maybe they've updated some and not others okay so some are so, so i correct myself there some of their stuff on the website is now showing sizes um but yeah and i don't know how i managed to find the multi-panel i don't i have no idea how i managed to find it if I go looking again for a multi-panel, I just can't seem to find how I managed to find it. Okay. Um, there was, did I come across, there's some cutesy bags for accessories. I will say that one. If you go into the diamond painting tools, they do have the non-stick bead trays. They do have some storage containers that are pretty interesting to look at. Um... They do have some fancy pens. Um, and just hang on. I'm just, I'm just, while I'm talking to you, I am looking. They have a light pad. So they do have a range of um, containers. Um, now, there is diamond painting tool storage bag with 72 bottle storage containers. So I haven't seen a 72 before. Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of different stuff. There's also stuff for cross stitch. Uh, yeah, and there's some other stuff that just doesn't seem there in any relation to uh, diamond painting, which is diamond coated core hole saw drill bit. So this is where it's really weird, really weird. Um, but yeah, the website I struggled with to get around um i will say it was pretty quick quick in shipping but i will say that my, me getting it i got it late but that was because of aussie post yeah um size is not true to size even although it does say it's a 40 by 90 canvas a drill size these do not count as drill size um and in saying that this will need to be done. I wouldn't cut this to drill it. I will not cut this to drill it. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. Um, because what if I cut it, then I'm stuck with how I frame it. But we will see. Um, clarity of symbols, not really good clarity. Um, okay, and I will lift this. It is sticky okay first thing i want to do this diamond paint before i do anything else i'll pause for a sec i just went to get um stickers um one thing because of the because it's poured glue and because of the way that this diamond painting sits i am going to have to put at least one sticker down so i'll get a sticker down first so it's a little trick if if you're not aware with poured glue one side of the clear clear tape is clear cover is designed to actually sit on the um, painting the other side is not so I'm just gonna pop at least one sticker there for now um, but let's have a look I pull this back a bit there we go so it is fairly sticky. Um, glue should be okay. Most of the times poured glue isn't an issue. But I will say that because this is a five panel, um, if I keep it together, some of these bends in the framing side of things might cause an issue. Um, yeah. But we will find out in the end result, won't we? The image is there. You can see it. Um, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Uh, this might be a. This will be another um, quick one. okay so there we go i have two new pieces um and i will say because this was done as a review for you gems to check out um to say 
let you know how I feel about it. I will actually be working on this one pretty well straight away. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll get this one done pretty quickly. Um, I can, yeah, I chew through the, what these ones will, which should go through quick. Anyway, I will leave it there. So the company is gbfke.com. It is saying Lee Howe, I think it is pronounced. If you, he actually does provide a link to a couple of different uh, YouTube videos that has been done um, that he shares. I will put those links in the information so that you can check it out. So I will leave it there, uh, Gems. Let's see uh, how this one goes. He has done what Victoria's Moon did. We're just contacted so many diamond painting painting um, creators so that they can put it out there. Um, it is a marketing plan that a lot do now. I'm starting to see more marketing plans where they will, where companies will give free diamond paintings to a massive group of people so that then they do their unboxings and it gets gets them out there. Um, it gets their name out there on YouTube. So if you're Googling for diamond paintings, the more people mention that company, the more it's going to come up when people are looking for diamond paintings that are new. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. I will work on this. Um, I will say thank you for letting me get this opportunity and um, let's see what my my feelings are about it while I'm working on it, let alone uh, um, before I actually finish it off. So Gems, I will say thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you've just found me by accident, welcome. <laughs> Hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, the bell to be notified when I do uploads. Um, I yeah i'll leave that there but yeah comments below what do you think let me know your honest opinion and we'll say gems thank you for watching and uh bye for now